Cardboard Warriors, what's going on tonight? So, what we got here is a yard sale find. First time. Uh, I got a buddy who actually does like thrifting and yard sales, so flip products and stuff. And I've been telling him for months to look out for magic cards for me. He finally found some. I think we're 20 bucks into this collection. And there's some sleeves in here. So, we'll have to see if we got our money's worth. Obviously, he doesn't know anything about card. I just kind of told him a couple things to look for. But, yeah, uh, he just kind of sent me a picture of the stack of cards and said, What do you think? And when he told me how much it was, I was like, Yeah, we'll do that. Um, oh, boy. We got basic lands mixed in with all kinds of stuff in here. Okay, so... For a second, I thought this whole box might be basic lands, but it doesn't look like it. So let's uh, let's see what we get. Hey, who knows? Could be something cool in here. But it looks like it's a mess as far as sorting goes, so that's fun. All right, we got an uncommon. We got a uh, Shadows Over Innistrad foil uncommon. That's kind of cool. All right, so there's that. Uh, I guess we'll put foils up here. Basic lands, I'm going to toss off to the side. You don't need to see this. And we got commons. So it looks like uh, a lot of a Monquette kind of uh, shadows, Eldritch Moon type era stuff so far. Cards seem to be in decent shape though. I have not looked through them at all yet. Here's a couple of full arts. That's nice. I do like the full arts. All right, even though with the newest couple of sets, we got a lot of full arts now, but <laughs> I still like them. There's a little warping to some of these. Oop, that's four. Wrong pile. So no telling what we're going to get. Just a random local yard sale find. Could be interesting. Oh, there's a rare, even mine sensor. Don't think it's worth much from uh, a mine kit. That's four. Oh, actually it is. It's a $4 card. Nice. I didn't think that one was worth that much. There's a little warping to them. I think they've been sitting for a while. So now that's not good. But so far, we're already hitting a money card. Gotta love it. And we're not even in the box with the sleeves yet. <laughs> All right. So what have you guys been up to this week? Uh, looks like uh, lots of craziness going on in the magic world, as usual. Yeah, there's a prowling support. Or serpopard? <laughs> what is that word? Serpopard. Okay. Serpent leopard? Is that what they're supposed to turn to be all creative? Turn to be creative, but you failed. Watchy. You failed. Another $4 card. What? Well, I think I'm on TCG mid, though, so probably not that high. Arts Fiend of Ifner. Well, getting, coming, coming across some rares that are coming up. That one's a buck fifty. So, hey. So far, so good. A lot of them, a lot of them on cat stuff in here. Oh, look at Volving Wilds, a fetch land and standard. It's amazing. <laughs> and a token. Oh, Mythic Asamut, Voice of Descent. Nice. That one binged with some kind of a dollar value there. $3. Hey, we're halfway to paying ourselves back already. Let's, we'll put a Mythic pile over there. Oh, wow, it's it's funny. It looks like it's just like packs opened and still in order. There's a scattered groves, one of the lands. Cycling lands. Scattered groves is coming up two bucks. Man, so far, not doing too bad. I did not expect this. I expected it to be pretty well dug through or just be kind of like deck builder's toolkits or something. But they're literally in order like they're packs. So, yeah, basic land token so that was the end of the pack yeah that one's not worth anything insult to injury but it is a cool card i think i did that in uh yeah this is one of the cards i did on my uh why is this card bulk video because uh, that one really shouldn't be bulk price that's an awesome card uh but anyways what we're gonna have some commons and then some uncommons and then a rare <laughs> and then the token it's literally they just put packs in a box it's like they didn't even sort them at all Maybe this was somebody that thought they were going to start playing and then decided not to. They just bought a bunch of packs, opened them, and put them in here. It's kind of weird. Heaven and Earth, I know that one's not worth anything. Uh, and then some more basic lands. Yeah, at, at first glance, it kind of, in the photos, uh, 
it kind of looked like it might have just been like some deck builders tool kits or something so i didn't have a whole lot of high hopes for this one but eh, i figured you know 20 bucks i'll gamble 20 bucks all day long on a <laughs> on an opening <laughs> just got a couple boxes of cards i was like yeah even if it's junk it'll it'll make for a good video yeah <laughs> that's worth 20 bucks for a gamble nice tokens yep tokens are good. upside down card common uh battle presented card okay that's a different set emblem there you go a lily emblem that's cool got some Kaladesh in here more full arts a lot of full art lands sweltering suns there we go another rare from a mon kit some more uncommons that was not worth anything all right another rare regal caracol i think that one might be 50 cents <laughs> Um, 83 cents. And then we got Eldritch Moon here. Final iteration. Hmm. Let's check that one. Got another Battle for Zendikar in common. Bladed Fan. Come on. Final iteration is not wanting to use skin. Is it on the wrong side? Descent of, or Docent of Perfection. Oh, that's why it was on the wrong side. Oops. Um, come on, Apple. Dollar seventy-eight. Okay. So hey, it's something. Bladed fan. I'm wanting to think that one might actually be worth a book. I was wrong. <laughs> I was very wrong. It is not. Uh, Jace emblem. There we go. Some Kaladesh uncommons now. More mine cat. I did like this block. Um. I wish I'd been around when it came out. I bet it would have been fun to play. Oh, Fetid Pools, another one of the Cycle Lands. Might be another book. Ooh, another $3. Man. Well, we are now officially reading $20 in value, so we actually got our money's worth, and we're not even halfway through. That is not bad. Channeler Initiate. I think that one's actually worth a little bit, too. Another Foil Giant Spider. Nope, oh, I was wrong about the initiate. 47 cents. Every time I see channel, I just think of the original channel, which is such an awesome card. And then we have the Rona's Monument foil. I had a, uh, a zero turn win deck back in the early days of Magic, like everybody else with the channel. If you had a land, a mox, a soul ring, and a channel and a fireball in your hand, you won. Turn zero. <laughs> That's all it took. <laughs> oh, the good old days. All right. Another Regal Caracal. There we go. And another full art. Sacred Cat. Sacred Cat doesn't have a face. Why doesn't Sacred Cat have a face? Not very sacred without a face on it. <laughs> oh, Hepatra. Vizier of Poisons. I know one of the Viziers is worth something. I can't remember if it's that one or not. Not that one. <laughs> It was not that one. It must have been a different one. Uh-oh, foil rare. New scrap mob. I think that one's worthless. But we'll check if it'll read it. Hermit of the Nighter's Calls. Oh, it's it's a dollar. How much is the foil one? Let me see. Oh, it pulled it up on the wrong set. Uh, Eldritch Moon. Oh, it's only 78 cents in Eldritch Moon. In the rare, in the foil. <laughs> All right, so that's worthless. All right. <laughs> but like I said, so far we're actually, we've already broken even. I'm not losing money anymore. So if we find something spicy, Cigar is Aid, probably not spicy. If we find something spicy, we, uh, we're we doing good. Oh, that one came up. Seven bucks. <laughs> it's like, I'm sitting here, all we need is something spicy, and I'm holding the spiciest card we've gotten so far. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, the moral of the story today, kids, is uh, yeah, don't buy from Goodwill auctions. Try to find magic cards at rummage sales. <laughs> it's much more beneficial. <laughs> oh, man, I've been hosed so bad on the Goodwill auctions lately. I don't know if you guys have been watching those videos, but they are... They're kind of painful. Kind of painful, gotta admit. Starting to see some M16 and stuff in here. Where's that starter 16? Why am I trying to put the common over there with the tokens? That's the token. <laughs> Mouth to feed. I know that one's not worth anything. Another foil giant spider. Another foil.
full art. Tokens. Sun Scorch Desert. If you guys see any commons or uncommons that I'm missing that are worth anything, let me know. But I don't think in these sets there's too much in the way of uh, valuable commons or uncommons. Oh, look. Vizier of Menagerie Foil. Rare from Monomon Kit. Don't remember if that one's worth anything. And then uh, Approach the Second Sun. I think that one might be a buck. Oh, the voice of the menagerie is six dollars now foil. How much is the foil? Thirteen dollars. Woo! Uh, that's where you would sleeve. We'll see that little guy. Nice. We actually making profit on a collection. That's the first time in a while. <laughs> yeah, approach the second sun's right at a dollar. Oh wait, that's the mystery booster one. We need the Amon Ket one, the OG. Is it worth a little bit more? It's a dollar. <laughs> nope, it's worth the same as the reprint. All right. So nice, we've already made some profit and we're still right about the halfway point, I think now, because that other, the second box isn't as full as the first one here. So probably about the halfway point. So you know, I got a little bit left in this box. All right, so. Not bad. Wow, that card is faded. What is going on with that? Look at how, look how, can you guys see that? Look how much different the, the black is on the outside of the card. I wonder if that's like a, considered a misprint or something, or somebody just left it out in the sun all day. I don't know. We'll toss that one to the side just to take a better look at it later. Oops, I scanned it on accident. We'll toss it off to the other side. <laughs> all right. Get rid of that. 24 cents. All right. Was there a lot of printing issues on the Amon Cat block? I wasn't around, so I'm not sure. I've opened a bit of it, and I still have, uh, what do I got, four? I think I got four boxes of Amon Cat over there. Three or four. So, if anybody wants to sponsor a box, just hit me up. We can open a box of Amon Cat, or I got, I've got most of the lottery card boxes. I've got Kaladesh, Amon Cat, um, Our Devastation, Oath of the Gatewatch. So I do have a lot of the lottery card boxes. If anybody's interested in going lottery hunting, let me know. And I can sell you some of those. Open them on video. Let everybody have fun with it. Oracle's Vault and another Chandler Initiate. Okay, we saw him earlier. And the uh, Oracle's only 40 cents. Nothing major there. So, surprise the condition of these cards. I expect it'll be a little bit worse being in a rummage sale environment there. <laughs> oh, wow. There's a whole stack of tokens. Yeah, could have done without that. <laughs> but we're already in the positive, so we're not complaining. There we go. And I should have uh, supposed to arrive tomorrow, the rest of my Zendikar Rising stuff. Holy moly. As foretold, I didn't foretold it, but <laughs> that's the name of the card. <laughs> That was the furthest thing from what I would have foretold, actually, in this collection. Nice. So we got a Mythic, too. Nice $7 Mythic in there. Man, we're not doing bad. Not doing bad at all. All right, let's go to the other box now. See if we can keep this going. There's a rare. Bowman Courier from Kaladesh. I don't think that one's worth anything. But we'll scan it. Just to be diligent. Yep, 50 cents. Yep. All right. So, hey, you get back in your pile, boy. Jeez, do you see him jumping off his pile? So hard to keep these cards in line sometimes. They're always, they're always getting out of hand. Another stack of tokens. Apparently, whoever this was liked tokens, because I think there's way more tokens than they possibly could have gotten in the packs. Oop. That's the common pile, not the basic land pile. I'm all by it. All right. Uh, moving on. So I see the Walking Dead secret lair thing has ended and uh, looks like people are already trying to sell it for twice as much as it's worth online and some people are actually buying it. I don't know why they didn't just buy it a week ago when they could have gotten over 50 bucks, but whatever, whatever you guys want, it's your money. I can't tell you how to spend it. <laughs> 30 cents on the uh, the Devil's Playground. Cool name, apparently not a great card. Oh, six, six drop, that's why. <laughs> six drop to create one ones yeah you'd have to create a lot of one ones to be worth six mana there buddy 
I don't have the time to read the card, but yeah, just saying. All right. Let's probably break this pile of commons into two piles. Just so I don't knock them all over and make a mess, because I've been known to do stuff like that before. It has happened. Oh. <laughs> the sleeve scared me. I thought we had a card bent in half like that. <laughs> Whew. <laughs> got a little worry there. Uh, we got a drag drug skull calvary, huh? Let's see if that one's worth anything. Probably not. Oops. I got two piles of commons. That's not a pile of uncommons. Yeah, it's 30 cents for the drag skull. Drag skull. Drag skull would have made more sense to me. Drag skull sounds weird. All right. Well, there's some chaos going on in here. This is a. Uh, this might be what he was cycling out of decks or something. Ah, eh, singer vampire. Eh. Great card. Great old school card. He was a uh, he was a powerhouse back in the day, man. Singer vampire was a beast. Creatures have come a long way since those days. Gear Reach Bandit, huh? Let's see, Let's see what we got. It's a flip card. Bounty of Luxa. Nothing on the gear reach here. Uh, 77 cents. Let's try the Bounty of Luxa. Nothing there either. Commons and rags to riches. Eh, we'll check that one. That one sounds familiar. Maybe worth 50 cents. 85 cents. Hey, look at that. <laughs> hey, 85 cents for a flip card is actually not bad value. <laughs> Most flip cards aren't worth anywhere near that. All right. Moving on. Now I'm kind of anxious to get to the sleeves because this is just like the stuff that was kind of in the bulk area. We'll see. Oh, whoa! What? What? Is that a foil lily? I bet that's from a Planeswalker deck. I don't think that's... Yeah, it's probably not a good lily. Let's find out, though. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> that was kind of a shocker. <laughs> Just scanning. Come on. The, the TCG player app hates foils. I have to manually enter this one. All right. Add manually... Come on. It's a TCG player app on a droid. Two wrongs that don't make a right. Just saying. Guess I'll keep sorting while I wait for this thing to open. There it goes. Really on. Come on. Death Wielder. Oh, it's a five dollar lily. There we go. It's worth five bucks. Can't be that. Toss her up there. Nice. Yeah, that's a, that one just kind of jumped out at me. I was I just picked up a stack that I thought was gonna be bulk, and there's a foil lily on top. <laughs> Never, never complain about that. All right, getting down here towards the the sleeves. Heart Piercer Manticore. We'll check it out. Yep, nothing. Quite a few more rares than I expected. I kind of figured this would be picked through. Oh, a Glory Bringer! Whoa, isn't that one of the most expensive cards in a Mon kit? And a Smuggler's Copter. I think that one, I've heard this This one made some infamous, infamous uh, head waves there. Oh, no. The Glory Bringer's only two bucks. I guess at one point it was probably a hit. But Smuggler's Copter, I, I heard it's, it's not much anymore, I don't think. But I heard uh, that kind of broke standard for a while. Kind of like every card coming out now. Yep, 258. So, there we go. Not bad. Not bad. I'm gonna have to pat my pat my friend on the back. He did a good job. Found a found a good one. <laughs> Got it for a good price. All right, here we go. Time for sleeves. Time for sleeves. Let's take the mighty leap into the sleeves. Let's hope there's something good. 
Comments, 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 and comments. I'm not going to de them all right now. Base plans. Comments, 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 comments. Base plans. Uh, comments, and comments. Well, this is disappointing. Oh, there we go. Emmercole. Look at that. Emmercole. I can't believe there's an Emmercole in here. Nice. Let's see how much he's going for right now. I have to pull him out of the sleeve. Oh, oh. Holy moly. 36.72 for Emmercole. Nice. That's uh that one card is a lot more than I paid for the whole collection. So not gonna complain about that. It looks mint too. There's nothing wrong with this. I think you put it directly in the sleeve and probably didn't play with it hardly at all. Nice. Can't have too many Emmercoles. We'll put them right back in that sleeve until I can transfer them to something better. There we go. Score. I was getting worried there for a second. Odrick. Just getting worried because uh, all this fun was basic lands and commons and uncommons in the sleeves. I was like, no. Eh, Odrick's a dollar. That's a major. Really, buck fifties where I kind of draw the line on what I consider something worthwhile. Or a hit, you could say. Another full common. All right. One little stack of sleeves left to go, and then we're out. Let's see if we can pull another big hit like the Emmercole. That would be awesome. Some tokens and emblems here. All right, here we go. Home stretch, and it's all basic lands. They sleeved up all their basic lands. All right. <laughs> you know, catcher's name. Couple uncommons. Commons. Come on, another big hit. Another big hit at the close. There's a foil. Another uh, another Emrakul. I'm fine with that. Uh, uh, duplication is good when it's a thirty dollar card. Liliana's influence. Another Liliana's influence. What do we got sixty cents. Okay, so those aren't worth much of anything. That's disappointing. Oh, kind of running out of room on my table here. Almost there. Almost there. Stay on target. <laughs> Come on. Day can't be complete without a Star Wars joke. Am I right? Oh, foil basic land. Yay. Oh, no. We're getting down to the end and I don't see anything else. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's a foil Liliana Death Majesty right there. Well... <laughs> I was about to start counting my chickens like I, like we were done. And then here comes Lily. See if we can scan her. <laughs> Come on. Oh, it's scanned. Oh, she's not worth as much as I thought she'd be. Let's check the foil multiplier. Oh, there we go. Foil, 15 bucks. 15.45 for the foil Liliana Death's Majesty. That's awesome. So, two Lilies in this. Nightmare, I know that's not worth anything. It's starter deck. Crip Breaker. Isn't Crip Breaker worth something? It's worth three bucks. There we go. Another good rare. Anything else? Right in the close? No, but that was that was awesome. Man. That was not a bad find at all. So $20 investment. Looks like from the cards I scanned, we're about 120 bucks. So What's that, uh, six, six Xing my, uh, my money <laughs> in one collection? It's about time I got a decent collection here. I'm nice. So I'm pretty stoked with that. So the big hits, of course, were the Foil Lily right here at the end, the Emrakul, and the Vizier of the Menagerie Foil. So those are the big hits right there. Uh, awesome stuff. And then, of course, we got the As Foretold and... The Samut were our mythics from my mind kit there. And then we got a pretty good stack of uh, rares. We got the other foil lily that's worth like five bucks too, the Death Wielder. So our big stack of rares, we had the Crypt Breaker, Smuggler's Copter, Galarian Bringer, Cigar to Zaid, Fetid Bulls, Docent of Perfection, Scattered Groves, Archfiend of Ifner, Ifner, the Prowling Serpent Leopard, Cat Snake, even Mind Sensor. There we go. We got quite a few foils. Um, nothing super exciting. 
foil rare from uh, Elder's Moon. It's always nice. So quite a few foils. And then we got a huge stack of the full art lands from uh, Amon Kit, BFZ looks like. So nice big stack of full arts. Uh, just basics, nothing, no foils or anything exciting. But I do like these full art lands because I like to put them on my decks. So I like when I get them in collections so they're not, I don't have to uh, stack the pack fresh ones in my decks. I can leave them pack fresh. So there we go. We got uh, quite a few rares, actually. Not bad. Uh, a lot of bulk stuff, but hey, maybe I'll find some, uh, I can't believe this is bulk uh, cards in there for my uh, for my Why Is This Card Bulk series. So I will continue to do those. Seems like you guys seem to like those. Uh, a lot of people like to argue with me about why they're bulk, and that's what I—that's why I do them. So feel free to, if you got an opinion of why you think they're bulk and that I'm just not missing, that's why I do the series. And of course, we got some tokens too. You want some tokens? Anybody need a token? All right. So pretty awesome. Uh, I'm pretty. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I think uh, my buddy did really good. Hopefully, you can find me some more, and we can open them on here and, and dig through and see what we get. Because. Uh, this is fun. I like the collections even more than I like booster boxes and stuff. Uh, just because you never know what you're going to get. Of course, I do like booster boxes because, you know, I like mint pack fresh cards. And and I do like to not get completely hosed. You know, usually on a booster box, you're going to know around about what you're going to get value-wise out of them, you know. Um, with the collections, as we've seen with those Goodwill collections especially. I really recommend stay away from those because I get really, really badly hosed on a lot of those. Um, I've only had two Goodwill collections out of like the 12 or 15 that I bought that actually had, uh, decent enough cards to, to kind of do a little bit better than breaking even after I took away for, for condition of the cards and stuff like that. Cause of course, a lot of those Goodwill collections, you know, people don't donate pack fresh cards very often. So, uh, they're usually pretty well played cards in those. So, but Goodwill definitely knows what they're doing at this point. They've sold the, some of these Magic Collections for so much money. I think they're, they're catching on to the fact that there's a lot of money in the cards. And they are having people search them now because it's, it's been a while since I've been able to get anything good in a collection from them. It was really just the first few I bought a year ago. Uh, I haven't really gotten much anything this year from them. It seems like they're always the same. There's a few old cards in the photos to make you think that there's a pretty broad collection, then I'll get it. And aside from those few old cars that were in the photo, everything else is a newer set, like all Return to Ravnica commons and uncommons, you know? So it's, uh, yeah, it's been happening a lot. You can watch my videos of the collections and see. But yeah, the Goodwill stuff is, is really, really risky, and I recommend staying away from that. But hey, check out your local garage sales and, and your local Craigslist and stuff like that, and yeah. You can you can find some good deals out there still. Just people that that started playing and didn't really get into it and don't really know that there's some valuable cards in here. So you might find some deals. Good luck with everything, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Check out the description below. There's lots of links to save you uh, money on your card purchases and get your cash back. There's a lot of Amazon links to really good deals on some of the newer sets in there, and uh, it helps me out big time. If you buy anything from Amazon using my link, you don't even have to buy the thing that's in the link. Just use the link, go to Amazon, purchase what you're going to normally purchase on there anyway. And I get a tiny percentage of it. Uh, a few of you have bought stuff on there. And I really, truly appreciate it. Because if I don't get enough sales, they will actually discontinue my affiliate account. And then I can't get anything. So that's kind of a big deal for me going forward. To be able to help kind of fund this and, and uh, keep the channel going. So I really appreciate it. There's probably some other suggestions of other videos. I got a lot of old videos with not many views on them you can check out that are really cool videos. So um, thank you guys so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you liked the video and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, bye.